Hey, what's going on guys? Super Mario T here. Welcome back to some more Smash 5 speculation. Previously, I analyzed the trailer, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the Smash 4 roster and the past rosters in Smash Melee and Brawl, and I'm going to be going over which characters have a likely shot at either being cut or staying. I'm mainly I'm going to be touching solely on the veterans of sm these Smash games up until Smash 4, so I'm not going to be talking much about any potential newcomers. I'm going to be covering that in a separate video. To some length, I may talk about one, two, maybe three newcomers because they have something to do with some of these potential characters returning, but otherwise, I'm just going to be going over the Smash 4 roster in general. And another thing. When it comes to Smash 5's roster, I'm also on Team Smash 5. Like, I do think this is a brand new Smash game. This is not a port. There's the new, there's the new logo. There's Breath of the Wild link. There's that website tab with the title, title pending. There's the press release stating that it's an all new game. Sakurai's implying that it's a new game. The, the time period between Smash 5's release and Smash 4 wholesomely finishing production is 2.5 years, which is actually what how long it took for Smash 4 to develop. <clears throat> so... I should probably make an update video and fix that. I mean, I commented that on the analysis because that was because the info between the release dates was wrong. But going back to the roster, I feel I would feel a lot more satisfied if they just continued adding more characters rather than expelling some. Because the beauty with the Smash series, especially Smash Four, is there's like 58 to 61 characters. A lot of there's so many Nintendo characters. There's like a couple third parties too. All these video game characters representing different genres representing the repertoire of nintendo's ips all in this big party fighter fighting game party game however you feel i'm on team fighting game it, it's a thing of beauty honestly so why so why try and slash that roster and some of these characters like i do think they're going to cut some characters don't get me wrong but i would i would feel wholesomely more satisfied if they just add more on top of the roster granted i don't know how much more they could do if they just keep adding more and more characters after each smash game I don't know how much bigger that roster could get, but I like more characters than less. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Mario, we saw him in the trailer, obvious one, Smash 64, the face of Nintendo. Luigi, Smash 64, Mario's brother, popular Mario character, he's staying as well. Oh, wait, no, hang on. I'm going to be grading based on five different grades. A green check mark representing definitely staying. Yellow check mark maybe staying. Question mark, not sure, yellow no sign, or X sign, or whatever I'm going to use, as maybe leaving, and a red no sign as definitely leaving. That's how you'll know how I base some of these characters. Mario gets a check mark already, he's already confirmed. Luigi, he's essentially confirmed. He's a... I shouldn't even have to explain, Smash 64, like I said before. Peach as well, popular character, Melee, represents Mario, Damsel in Distress. Same for Bowser, He's we saw him as a silhouette in the trailer, he's staying, it's it's a given. Same for Yoshi, Smash 64, <coughs> Mario's compadre, Smash 64, it, honestly, if, 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 if you're a character from Smash 64, you're definitely staying. Rosalina and Luma, I think, is definitely staying, because she represents Super Mario Galaxy, she's a fan favorite in the Mario community. She was a, she's a relatively popular character when it comes to Smash, especially in the community. She's definitely a high tier character. I think Rosalina has enough fans and enough love to stay in Smash Bros. Plus, I don't know. I feel, uh, I feel like Rosalina is definitely staying. I'm giving her a green check mark. Bowser Jr. I'm also giving a green check mark too because I feel like he has a, a pretty decent shot at returning as well. He was definitely a, a really smart addition in Smash 4. I wanted him in Smash for a while now. He definitely earned his spot. His moveset's good. He's a popular character. He's still relevant in Mario games. Mario Tennis Aces and Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey. He's still being put in new Mario games nowadays. So, I would be shocked if Bowser Jr. would not return in the next Smash Bros. Especially since I actually wanted him to be in Smash. So, I'm pretty sure he's going to be in the next Smash Bros. Team Smash 5 all the way. Wario, he's definitely staying. He represents the WarioWare series, Wario Land, Wario World. He's, he's a given. He's definitely a given. There's no denial. No denying it. Donkey Kong's the same, 64. Diddy Kong's the same as well, representing Donkey Kong Country alongside Donkey Kong. He's he's DK's partner. And he's he's definitely staying. I feel like a lot of I feel like a lot of these people don't even require explanations. Like 
so many of these are givens, like Game & Watch. He was the first WTF character back in Melee, but I also feel like he's he represented the, the, the group of retro characters, retro Nintendo characters like Rob and Duck Hunt. Game & Watch is definitely staying, there's no denying that. He has fans, he's popular. This is our first interesting one, Little Mac? Hmm. He- Punch-Out is relatively niche. The last Punch-Out game was on the Wii, and... Huh. He was not taken positively when Smash 3DS released, and Wii U of course, because a lot of people thought he was broken. Because he was OP on the ground, but he was just a terrible ass aerial battler. I'm gonna give Little Mac a question mark as not sure, because Little Mac makes sense in Smash Bros. I don't know. I uh. See, here's the thing. Me personally, I'm leaning towards more of him being cut than him staying. I could see him go either way, honestly. I really don't care. So I'm not really sure what's gonna happen to Little Mac. He's gonna get the question mark. Pretty much everyone up here besides Little Mac is getting the question mark. That is 11 characters with the the check marks. They're definitely staying. Link is another one. Breath of the Wild Link. That's a given. Smash 64. If they're using Breath of the Wild Link, and because Legend of Zelda, Zelda is definitely going to be in the next Smash Bros. And I, I have a good feeling they're going to use the Breath of the Wild design. I at least hope they do, especially if they're using Champion Link. Sheik, I'm pretty sure, is staying as well. A fan favorite in the Zelda community and the Smash community, especially the competitive scene in Melee Brawl and Smash 60, 64. Smash 4. Uh, Ganondorf. He's definitely staying. Main villain of Zelda. I hope they change his moveset to Hyrule Warriors Ganon specifically. From Okay, here's the thing. I did not get far in Breath of the Wild at all. I, I don't even know what Ganon looks like in Breath of the Wild. From what I, from what I've seen of Calamity Ganon, does is he like this dust cloud or something? Like, does he even have a physical form? I, I don't, I don't even. Okay, you know what? Actually, don't tell me because I do plan on playing more of Breath of the Wild. But I would rather them use Hyrule Warriors design Ganon and a new move set rather than Captain Falcon's moves. And if they're using new, new that yeah, new designs for Zelda and Link. Toon Link's definitely coming back. Plus, Toon Link's already a popular character in the Zelda and Smash community. I feel like he's a given, <clears throat> especially after Brawl and how he represents Wind Waker and um, I think Spirit Tracks 2 and Phantom Hourglass. Samus and Zero Suit Samus are given. Samus, Smash 64, Zero Suit Samus, another fan favorite. <laughs> You're going to want another character to represent Metroid. She's been in Brawl. She, she came back here. She's definitely staying. There's no denying that. Pit as well. He came back after Brawl. Kid Icarus Uprising. He's practically Sakurai's baby at this point alongside Kirby. Pit is definitely getting that green check mark. Palutena as well. <clears throat> I feel like she had plenty of fans when she was revealed as well. She was definitely one of my favorite reveals for Smash 4. And I, I just feel like she is almost as big of a staple and a defining character when it comes to Kid Icarus as Pit. Palutena is definitely staying. Marth, Ike, especially Marth, these guys represent Fire Emblem. They're heavily, they're super popular in the Fire Emblem fandom, especially Ike. <clears throat> Marth is the face of Fire Emblem. I would be shocked if they kicked Ike from Smash Bros, cause I, cause he's definitely staying. Especially after Fire Emblem Heroes, after the polls, cause Ike, Ike and Lin are one of the most popular characters when it comes to that. Robin? Hmm. See, the weird thing is with Robin is Fire Emblem Awakening basically revived the Fire Emblem franchise, but among the Fire Emblem community, lots of people either love the new Fire Emblem or ha hate the new Fire Emblem, cause they're going for more anime. Some, in some way, stereotypical anime approach with some of these characters and portrayals. <clears throat> I haven't played the Fire Emblem games to fully know 100%, but that is what I hear. Robin? Um, and, uh, and another thing, his moveset too. The criticism Fire Emblem characters get with Smash Bros. is that a lot of them are sword users. Robin broke that mold with his magic, his magic abilities, so... Huh... It's really hard to say, honestly. I again with Little Mac, I could see it either way. 
I'm gonna give Robin a maybe likely. I'm gonna give him that yellow check mark. I think he has a fair shot at returning, just because he could represent Awakening. Duck Hunt? I'm pretty sure Duck Hunt's gonna stay. <laughs> Duck Hunt was kind of a mixed bag when he was revealed, but I feel like a lot of people liked his inclusion just because he was so wacky and he was another WTF character like Game Watch. I feel like he's definitely gonna stay. He represents, like, a core part of the NES library, Nintendo's classic history. I don't think they're gonna want to take that away with Smash Bros. Kirby, Diddy, and Mennonite are all Sakurai's babies. They're definitely staying, no matter what. Fox, Falco, they represent Star Fox. They're popular as hell. They're definitely staying. Plus, Fox and Kirby are Smash 64 characters. Pikachu as well, Smash 64 character. Represent... <laughs> why am I explaining these? Like, why am I explaining Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Yoshi, Pikachu? So, look, Pikachu's a given. Charizard, I feel like, is another given as well. After Brawl and him becoming his own character in Smash 4, Charizard is one of the most popular characters out there, and he represents the first generation of Pokemon. I do... F I, I think it's a pretty safe bet that Charizard is gonna stay in Smash Bros. Lucario's a little more up in the air. He definitely has a lot of fans, don't get me wrong about that. He's popular in the competitive Pokemon community, and he's still rel- He was popular in Gen 4, he became relevant again in the second half of Gen 5. He was relevant again in Gen 6 with Mega Evolution. He lost relevance in Gen 7, but he was- he, I'd say he was still popular, and considering Pokemon's coming to Switch, when the Gen 4 remakes come- oh yeah, the anime, of course, too, he's relevant in the anime, and the most recent Pokemon movie had a trainer with a Lucario. I forget his name, he was one of the main characters, but he had a Lucario. When Gen 4 comes out on the Switch, because you know that's gonna be a part of Gen 8, he's gonna be relevant all over again. Lucario at least has relevancy on his side, but- that hasn't stopped other characters from appearing in Smash, especially classic ones, so relevance it could, relevance could matter or it could not matter with Smash Bros. Lucario? I f I'm giving him that yellow check mark too, because I can see them booting Lucario. Especially after Brawl's reaction. Uh, um, Lucario's, Lucario's really a tough bag and for me. I could see it either way. I'm leaning towards him staying. But I could see him being kicked too. Jigglypuff, I shouldn't even have to explain. Smash 64, old veteran. Even even though Jigglypuff's losing relevancy, she kind of gained relevancy a little bit with becoming a normal fairy type dual Pokemon. And hmm, I I, I still feel like Jigglypuff is gonna stay no matter how irrelevant Jigglypuff becomes. Greninja. Okay, Greninja, if there, if there was any Pokemon they had to kick off for either a Gen 7 or a Gen 8 Pokemon, it would be Greninja. Let me just say that right now. That being said, Greninja, Greninja is still questionable in a few aspects. Number one, he was considered the most popular Pokemon in Japan. Back in 2016, he was considered more popular than Arceus, Pikachu, Mewtwo, Eevee, Togepi. Like, he, he was literally considered the most popular Pokemon in Japan. Greninja has a lot of fans, not just from the games, but the anime, the Pokemon XY anime as well. And Greninja has Ash Greninja. He has his own freaking transformation. You could still add more moves to Greninja, especially since that there are a lot more moves to come out of Pokemon now. And Ash Greninja could be his final smash. Greninja... Oh yeah, that's right. They still distributed him in Sun and Moon as an early, early pre-download gift. No, if they downloaded the demo, you could get Ash Greninja. But Greninja still has some relevancy on his side. If not, he still has a lot of fans. Uh, and they could pull what they could do what they did with Lucario in Smash 4, because I think people thought Lucario was gonna be gone in Smash 4. But no, they showed early early 2014 that Lucario is staying. So if they have to cut a Pokemon, it is Greninja. I could see it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm not sure what they're gonna do with Greninja. Like, if they do cut him, I'm leaning towards more that, I'm leaning towards more they're gonna cut him. I'm giving him that question mark just because Greninja still has some reason to stay. He, he at least in my opinion, has more reason to stay than Little Mac. <clears throat> um, 
Rob. Rob's definitely staying. He was a key part in Brawl and in Brawl's story. He's another popular character. He represents the WTF characters and the classic characters of Nintendo's library. He's staying. Ness, Captain Falcon. <laughs> the day Captain Falcon gets kicked from Smash 4 is the day Smash is gonna. <laughs> We thought the Smash community was toxic already. People are gonna lose their absolute shit if Captain Falcon ever got kicked. No, he's staying. Ness is staying. Ness represents Earthbound. They're both Smash 64 characters. Villager, I'm pretty sure he's staying too. Animal Crossing, a lot of people are asking for an Animal Crossing game on the Switch. Animal Crossing is a popular series. Um, I th I'm pr yeah, New Leaf sold over like 11 million units on the 3DS. And other Animal Crossing games definitely sell a couple million. At least the ones before Amiibo Festival, because I know Amiibo Festival did utterly terrible. <laughs> Excuse me. Villager is getting that green check mark. Olimar is staying. He represents Pikmin. That's another one. Weefa Trainer's gone. I do think Weefa Trainer's gone. Because We Fit is becoming more obsolete. She was kind of that. She was she was actually the first WTF character of Smash 4, not Duck Hunt. We, we Fit Trainer was the first one. Not that many people played her either. She she is not that popular, so I don't think they're going to use Wii Fit Trainer again, especially since they're they're practically trying to ditch that Wii brand too. Shulk, I I I'm pretty sure Shulk is staying, cause the thing with Fire Emblem back during the days of Melee and Brawl, like Fire Emblem was still kind of niche. After Melee, it was still it, it started becoming releasing. It started releasing more worldwide. It became more well known throughout internationally, thanks to Melee when Marth and Roy made their debut there. So I'm starting to see something similar with Xenoblade, especially with Xenoblade Chronicles X and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 sold a million units in less than a month after it released. It's definitely picked up a bigger audience than Xenoblade Chronicles first game. So. I think Shulk would definitely stay to represent the Xenoblade Chronicles franchise. And regarding Rex and or Pyra slash Mithra or whatever, I'm going to be covering that in another video. But I do think Shulk is definitely staying. Now, here's where we start getting to the much more interesting bits. Dr. Mo the clones, the third parties, and then the DLC characters. Dr. Mario... Dr. Mario is a lot more tricky. Because we all thought he was done after Melee. Dr. Mario was kind of another WTF character because it was another Mario clone in Melee and he was gone in Brawl. Not that many people liked him, but then he came back in Smash 4. That threw so many people off and he is a low tier character. So he's not he's not really well used or commonly used, I should say. I'm going to be a little biased here. I really want Dr. Mario to stay cuz I made him I like Dr. Mario in Smash Bros. Put me up on a stake. I don't care. I want Dr. Mario to come back, but I gotta look at the I gotta look at this realistically. But you never know with Sakurai, cause you cause I don't think nobody was expecting Dr. Mario to come in Smash 4. See, that's the thing. Um hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm I really have no idea. I I'm I'm really I'm re oh my god <laughs> this is so this is honestly a little bit tricky because you can never you can never predict N Nintendo let alone Sakurai because Sakurai's an even bigger bag of mystery he's an even bigger mystery box oh my god oh my god question mark on Dr Mario I have no idea I hope he returns I have no idea Dark Pit uh. He He's the most likely clone to return, just because of Kid Icarus Uprising and how Sakurai developed that. He is he is a favorite in the Kid Icarus community, but I know he wasn't particularly liked in Smash 4 just because he was a clone. Uh, I'm giving him that maybe likely, because he could, they could still differentiate Dark Pit for Pit. Like, they did do it a little bit with the Silver Bow and the the Electroshock Arm. They could do a little bit more. I don't see that happening. I do see Dark Pit being the most likely candidate, but with that said, that maybe likely is somewhere between... It's literally in the middle of maybe likely and not sure, or, or maybe the not sure mark, I don't know. No, it's more closer to not sure than it is maybe likely, but I'm putting him more over to the maybe likely just because I see I see him returning more than Dr. Mario or Lucina. Luc Lucina's another mixed bag because 
alongside Robin, she she was a, she's definitely a fan favorite in the Fire Emblem community, and she, she's the easy bake Marth. So I can see her catering more to just like like Marth is definitely the better character. He has a lot more kill power <laughs> at the tip of the sword. Lucina could be like that sort of character that some people have a hard time with Marth, and they could just go for Lucina because she's more balanced throughout the sword. Like she she has fans, but. Again, it's that status of a clone. Plus, many people would prefer if Luc... You know what? Lucina's gone. I think she's gonna be a skin for Marth. I'm I'm starting to think she's gonna be a skin. Because a lot of people prefer Lucina being a different skin for Marth rather than a whole character. And if they were gonna prefer Robin... If they were gonna make a character representing Awakening, they could do Robin. Just because Robin has more of a different moveset, and I think he was a lot more well-received than Lucina. Granted, I know people do did like Lucina coming back in Smash 4, and uh, coming back in Smash 4. I know people liked Lucina coming in in Smash 4, and assuming she, <clears throat> assuming assuming she does come back to represent Awakening, like say Robin got cut instead and Lucina came back, I could see that too. Like I I could see either one of these characters, Lucina and Robin, coming back and being cut. But if I had to choose, if I had to look at if. If I had to see who had a likelier possibility, I think Robin might have, just because of a different moveset, breaking the stigma, and be representing Awakening. Because you don't need Lucina for that if you're going to do Robin. So I, I, think Luc I think Lucina has a better shot at leaving than coming back. Oof, this one hurts me. It hurts me because... Okay, for okay so first off... We have no idea if Bandai Namco is working on this. I don't think that affects Pac-Man's chances of coming back in Smash or not. Because, like, characters like Cloud, for instance, managed to get in Smash. So, it's not a matter of which third-party company is working on the Smash game that determines which character is coming in. Because Cloud clearly represents that to a T. So, Pac-Man... I, I really want Pac-Man to come back. Maybe likely. I'm putting a maybe likely on Pac-Man. Because I th I'm pretty sure... He was, he was one of the biggest highlights of Smash 4, because Pac-Man is one of the biggest characters in the roster. He's he's like one of the most classic video game characters in video game history. I, 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 like, um, like, that's, that's the beauty with Smash 4, like, these third parties, particularly Mario, Sonic, Mega Man, and Pac-Man. Like, it, it would kind of hurt a little if you took that away. Plus, I love how they used Pac-Man. Like, Pac-Man's such a good character in this game. It would kind of... It would hurt a little if they took him out of it. I'm putting a maybe likely there. But I'm putting it between that and the definite likely. Like, I'm giving him like a 70-75% to 75 chance of coming back. I really hope he does. I do think he has a decent shot of coming back. Especially with Namco, Bandai Namco, being pretty buddy-buddy with Nintendo these past couple years. And Pac-Man... Championship Edition coming to the Switch later on. I think Pac-Man has a good shot. Mega Man? I think Mega Man's definitely staying. Because you see Capcom going full throttle with supporting the Switch. With a bunch of games including the Mega Man Legacy Collections all coming to the Switch. That's like 18 Mega Man games coming in the middle of spring. Mega Man 11's confirmed for Switch. They're definitely going to revamp Mega Man's design. So it's just like the Mega Man 11 design. And I think they're going to change, they're going to slightly change Mega Man's moveset as well a little to match his, his new abilities in Mega Man 11. So I'm pretty damn sure Mega Man is returning. And if, if they had to choose at least one character to put in Smash for every single iteration, Sonic is definitely it. There's no way Sonic is leaving Smash Bros. Cause back in Brawl, that was one of the biggest, if not the biggest reveal for Smash Bros. ever, because I think, because people wanted Sonic and Smash Bros. ever since Melee, because, because Miyamoto did pitch that idea, and Sonic, Sonic and Brawl was one of the biggest, and I mean the biggest, reveals in video game history, not just Smash Bros. Mario vs. Sonic, like, that was huge back in the day. See, the thing I'm more curious is whether we're gonna get a stage representing Sonic Mania or Sonic Forces, or maybe both, I have no idea. Forces seems a little bit more like ah oh, man I, I'm I'm probably gonna make a video on stages, but Sonic is definitely a, a shoe in. Oh, but we're going back to the Pokemon Mewtwo. Mewtwo I think is maybe staying. I'm giving him the yellow check mark because 
Me a lot of people loved that Mewtwo. <laughs> Oh my god, that was one of the- that was one of the- Okay, for- Number one, that was not only one of the biggest reveals for Smash 4. Number two, that was- That was big in the fact that Smash was getting DLC. Plus, Mewtwo is one of the most popular Pokemon of all time. And he also represents Gen 1. And he also has a Mega Evolution. He still re he still has some relevancy on his side, if not immense popularity. I feel like Mewtwo is a little bit more popular than Lucario. Especially since people did ask for Mewtwo to return and- like, there was more of a favor for Mewtwo than Lucario when it came to Brawl. At least in my opinion, from what I saw. So, I think Mewtwo has a decent shot of returning. So, so going so very quickly between Pokemon. Pikachu, Charizard, and Jigglypuff are definitely staying. I feel like Mewtwo has a good shot at returning. And <clears throat> Lucario has a lesser likely shot, but still a fairly decent shot of returning as well. And they would probably use a Pokemon from either Gen 7 or Gen 8 for Smash 5. I do think Mewtwo has a fair shot of returning. Maybe he probably has like a good 70 to 80 percent chance of returning. Lucas, I feel like Lucas is returning too. He's become another fan favorite in the Smash and the Smash community. He was already a fan favorite in the Mother community, Earthbound community, whatever. He, they definitely saw how many people wanted Lucas to return, and they definitely delivered with Smash 4's DLC. I think Lucas is definitely a shoe win. Roy. Roy is another mixed bag. He is definitely a popular Fire Emblem character and Smash character. I don't think he is of the same caliber as Ike. Hmm. He definitely is popular when it comes to Fire Emblem and Fire Emblem Heroes. People were so pissed when Ike and Roy were not confirmed for Fire Emblem Warriors and they're not going to be DLC, so people are upset about that. I think Roy might actually stay. I think he still has enough fans to actually stay in Smash Bros. And for <laughs> for some reason, there's a lot of... Oh, man. Oh, man, now I'm rethinking this because... Fire Emblem has, like, six characters. I do not... I do not consider Fire Emblem as big as, like, say... Uh, as big as Kirby or... I almost said Mitra. I don't even think he, I don't even think I would consider Fire Emblem as big as Animal Crossing. Like, yeah, the Fire Emblem series is doing a lot better nowadays, but Animal Crossing has pre has pretty much always done pretty damn impressive, especially New Leaf on 3DS. So another problem, with, like the problem with the Fire Emblem characters in Smash, is that there's there's so many characters. There the same amount of Fire Emblem characters in this game is the same amount as Pokemon characters. There's literally six. So. That's another thing to consider. Like, how many Fire Emblem characters would they honestly add? Because Martha and Ike are definitely a given. I see Robin as a likely candidate, and Roy... Roy will probably fit the mold. I think they could they could probably get away with four to five Fire Emblem characters. If the... If they had to, if they had to kick Lucina and Robin just because of Awakening, be I keep, I keep, I I'm, I'm kind of jumping back and forth, and I apologize, and stammering a lot throughout this. Like I said, this is unscripted, but I I do have a strong feeling they're going to represent the new Fire Emblem game on Switch in some capacity. So they could swap out Robin and Lucina for that new Fire Emblem for, uh, Fire Emblem character. So Marth, Ike, and Roy, I'm pretty sure are staying. Robin has a decent shot. I think I gave him that yellow check mark. I think I'm still going to give it to him. But I'll 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 I'll, I'll definitely get into the the new newcomers in another video. Ryu, I feel like, is not is not going to be in the next Smash Bros. It was definitely cool seeing Ryu be in Smash Bros, a fighting a fighting character in another fighting game. Two Capcom characters. I feel like Cap yeah, I feel like Capcom doesn't really need two characters in Smash Bros. Yeah, Ryu is popular. Don't get me wrong, but especially with how popular and strong the Street Fighter franchise is being represented on the Switch. But if Capcom was going to put one of their flagship characters on there, Mega Man was definitely a better shot than Street Fight than Ryu and Street Fighter, especially since Street Fighter is already a fighting game franchise. So I think Ryu's out. Cloud is definitely out. And the the the, the funny thing is, for as for as for as easy bake as boring as easy as Cloud is to play as, I honestly like that Cloud is in Smash Bros. Anyways, because that shows. Sakurai could do whatever the hell he wants. He could put any character he sees fit in Smash Bros. No matter whether he or she is on a Nintendo console or not. So, 
But the thing with Cloud, though, is there was not that much fi Final Fantasy representation outside Cloud, the stage, and two songs from Final Fantasy VII. That's not a lot of representation for a third-party franchise, especially compared to all these other ones, like Bayonetta, Ryu, Sonic, Mega Man, and Pac-Man. Granted, some of them make more sense than others, but Final Fantasy did not get that much representation outside of the character and stage. So, there's no doubt in my mind Cloud's probably leaving. It was cool while it lasted. I will be I will be happy if he does come back, though I do hope he is a, a little bit more balanced. Corrin? He's gone. I think he's gone. F Fates did sell incredibly well, but a lot of people did not like Corrin in Fire Emblem Fates, and Corrin was a mixed bag in terms of gameplay with Smash 4. Like, he is like he is different in terms of moose, moose set. He does break that mold like Robin does, but Fates kind of... Be uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna get shit for this. Fates kind of became obsolete, like how Awakening did, because a lot of people just moved to Fates, and then when the new Fire Emblem game rolls around, people are gonna start moving to that. So, popularity and focus is definitely gonna be shifted when the new Fire Emblem game rolls around. That's why I'm sort of, I'm sort of iffy on Robin and more Lucina, but that's also why I think Corrin's gone. Plus, like, Corrin's a mixed bag. Some people love him, some people hate him when it comes to Smash 4. He definitely had mixed reception when he when it came to Fates as a character. So I don't think he's staying. And oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> we all know how the Smash community is right now with Bayonetta, constantly asking to ban her on a daily basis. <sighs> you guys. You guys who are against Bayonetta, you're gonna dislike this video just because I'm gonna say this. I think Bayonetta's staying. Just because B Bayonetta 3 is coming to Switch, if they didn't represent Bayonetta and Smash in some capacity, they I feel like that would be a little insulting in a way. And Bay the ports on Bay of Bayonetta 1 and 2 coming to Switch, and she, she was requested in the Smash ballot, but the thing is, she's like the most hated character in Smash 4 at the moment. And not even, like, not just now, but back when she was released, because she was so ridiculously broken. Because her fundamentals and core gameplay is radically different from every single character in Smash Bros. The closest... The closest she is to, to another character in Smash is Ryu, but Ryu is more along the lines of a traditional fighting game, as he does have some traditional moves, like the, tr like the true Shoryuken, true Tatsumaki Senpuk Yaku. So, Bayonetta, like, if they if they bring back Bayonetta, I really hope they do change her moveset to be more in line with the Smash games. Either that, or they change the Smash Smash's core moves to be more focused around combos, because Bayonetta's because Bayonetta was essentially based around combos, a lot like her games, but that did, but that like completely overshadowed all the yep, all the other Smash characters' move sets. It it was it's almost like Meta Knight all over again, except Meta Knight had like a lot more perfect frame data and was just all around broken by Smash standards. Bayonetta is just broken by Smash standards and <laughs> I don't even know if I could call it fighting game standards. I just know that her her core gameplay and fundamentals and move sets. Feature are featured and Bayonetta plays and is structured differently from Smash 4. You guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean by this. So, I do think Bayonetta's staying. I'm giving her that green check mark. But I would really hope her move set is different from how it was in Smash 4. At the very least, they s they severely patch out some of her moves because bec because of the state Smash 4 is in at the moment. A lot of people are starting to drop out and come more at the conclusion that Bayonetta is just way too overpowered for this game. Because Bayonetta did ruin Smash 4 for a lot of people. It's 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 really up in the air as to what form she'll take if she does return or whether or not she will. I, I do believe she will. Just because the support with Platinum Games is strong and particularly Bayonetta. So I think she's staying... The Miis are another mixed bag. The The main appeal with the Miis is that there were three different kinds and they had custom moves and different types and there were three different movesets for each one, the Brawler, the Mii Gunner, and the Sword Fighter. See, the, the thing that I think is going to affect whether or not they come back or not is whether custom moves are going to come back or not. And I could see them going either way with the custom moves, but I, if they are going to bring back custom moves, I would hope that, that all of them are unlocked from the start because the key, two key things with Smash 4 and the custom move sets. One, 
it took so freaking long for people to to go out and unlock some of those a lot of those custom moves whether playing 100 plus hours of smash run smash tour master orders crazy orders classic all-star mode people were not going to sit there and grind endlessly just to get all those custom moves for the 3ds and wii u versions that and some of these moves are ridiculously broken the only character that yeah excuse me the only character that had some interesting use with custom moves excuse me i just had dinner so it's palutena because a lot of her custom moves were ripped straight out of kid Icarus uprising and they make a lot of sense and they did fit her playstyle very well so if they do make custom moves like you i would hope they were all unlocked for the start but i do think they not like the custom moves are not coming back and i don't th i'm gonna give him i'm gonna give the Mies a maybe not coming back because i don't i i don't know i don't see the Mies coming back the Mies are starting to to wade out like they're kind of losing popularity with Nintendo. They're not being they're not being represented as much when it comes to the Switch. And huh. I mean Brawl didn't have Mii's. Yeah, the Mii's were suggested for Brawl, but they were able to they were able to make Brawl become a huge hit with the Mii's not in it. So, they don't really need the Mii's for Smash Bros. I don't I don't plus not that many people play as the Mii's either. So, I mean, it was fun and cool, but I I don't see the Mies coming back. I I could see them going either way, but I see them more not coming back than are com than do coming back. And that's basically the whole roster. Let's see. It. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go over. So, let's see. So I said let's see like three, four times. Jesus Christ. Uh, a lot of these characters in this roster, I have a good feeling are gonna stay. That's like a good 50 veterans or so that are staying. So. The characters I think are are either wavering or not staying. Little Mac I feel like is going to be gone. Robin I feel like has a, is wavering a little. He's in an unknown category because Fire Emblem games tend to wane out of relevancy when a new one releases, especially with this brand new Fire Emblem game coming out. So Robin gets that man. Y you know what? I'm going to change it. Robin, I'm giving him that question mark because yeah, Awakening is popular, but I j again, Fire Emblem games tend to wane out in terms of a new release because Fates made Awakening irrelevant a little bit, and people are definitely gonna hop on the new Fire Emblem game for Switch. They're definitely gonna represent that in some manner, so I'm giving Robin a question mark just because he does represent he can represent Awakening, a popular Fire Emblem game, but they could they may want to focus on the brand new Fire Emblem game coming up. Uh, so, Little Mac, he's gone. Robin, unsure. Greninja, I feel like, would be the Pokemon that would be cut. Despite him having some reasons for staying, Greninja would definitely be leaving. Lucario has a little bit of reason to leave, but I do feel like he's staying. Oh my god. Man... This, this is kind of fun, though. I like this. I like that Smash is announced for Switch, because I, I am on Team Smash 5, like you guys know. I do think this is a brand new Smash game. And that's the thing, though, with a lot of these characters. Like, if it's a brand new Smash game, you really have to think and choose which characters are staying, which ones are going, which ones are relevant, which ones represent Nintendo's, like, popular niche, like, which characters would be a suitable fit for the next Smash Bros. And... Uh, also, with Little Mac, arms comes to mind. Like, I think they could use arms to represent in the next Smash game rather than punch out. Especially with arms selling over a million units. Like, arms does have a fan base and is popular p despite it being dead at the moment. But you guys know what I mean. Little Mac is thinking he's gone. Robin is a question mark. Greninja, I'm pretty sure, is gone. Wii Fit Trainer, I'm sure, is gone. Dr. Mario, and I'm sure of. Dark Pit, I'm mostly unsure of, but I feel like he has the better shot out of all the clones. Lucina, I feel like, is gone. Pac-Man, I hope, stays. Mewtwo, I'm pretty sure, is staying. Roy, I'm pretty sure, is staying. Ryo, I'm pretty sure, is gone. Cloud, I'm sure, is gone. Koron, I'm sure, is gone. Bayonetta, I'm sure, is staying. And the Mies, I'm pretty sure, are gone. So, 
how many characters is that that I think have gone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, maybe eight. Seven to eight characters cut seems pretty reasonable for a roster as big as Smash Bros. That's around 50 characters that are most likely staying. I, I, I think, I, I feel like my selection here is definitely reasonable. I, I, like a lot of these characters I feel like are, like the characters I didn't mention, Little Mac, Robin, Greninja, uh, Cloud, Ryu, Korin, Mies, and Wii Fit Trainer, like, other than those characters, I feel like the rest are practically a decent, a decent given, if not a shoe win depending on some characters. Like, 75% of this roster, to, no, 80% 80, 80 of this roster, I'm pretty sure, is definitely returning in Smash 5. So, that that I'm pretty sure on. But, with, hmm. I, oh yeah, I mentioned wanting to bring up, like, past Smash characters. Particularly the ones that haven't returned in a Smash game, like Young Link, Pichu. Like, the characters that we haven't seen in a Smash Brothers game since Melee or Brawl. So, I'm going to be touching up on those for a little bit. Uh, I don't have a picture up on me, so I'm trying to remember based off memory. Pichu? I, I would be one of those people who would totally be on board for Pichu returning in Smash, but I know that's not going to happen, because Pichu, Pichu, I feel like, has less relevancy than Jigglypuff. Plus, a lot of people didn't like Pichu back in Melee. Pichu, Pichu, I'm sure, is not returning. Young, even though they could change Pichu's moveset, I don't think they could bring back Pichu. Or at least they don't want to. Young Link is the same case, because we already have Toon Link, and I think that I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I pretty much just covered all of Melee with Smash Bros. roster and with those two characters right then and there. Um, Brawl. Let's see about. Let me think about. Oh yeah, Ice Climbers. I completely forgot about Ice. Ice Climbers is definitely coming back. There is no way they're booting Ice Climbers after they finished programming Ice Climbers in the Wii U version of Smash. But because of the 3DS, they're definitely bringing back Ice Climbers. There is absolutely no way Ice Climbers is coming back. And people were genuinely upset that Ice Climbers were not in Smash 4. So, Ice Climbers is a given. I feel like Wolf is another given too. Because Star Fox lost representation in Smash 4. And so many people were questioning why, just like Ice Climbers, why was Wolf not in Smash 4? Wolf is definitely coming back in the next Smash Bros. He has so many fans. He's like the Vegeta to Fox for Star Fox. I I I don't see how how Wolf cannot be in the next Smash Bros. Especially with how many people were questioning, where's Wolf? Why isn't he in this game? Plus, I don't think it would be that hard to to implement Wolf in Smash Bros. Especially after Brawl. So I do think Wolf is coming back in Smash Five. Um. Ice Climbers and Wolf, so... Squirtle and Ivysaur, I'm pretty sure are not coming back. I feel like Charizard has more popularity than Squirtle and Ivysaur. Charizard can easily represent Gen 1 alongside Pikachu, Jigglypuff, and Mewtwo. You don't need Squirtle and Ivysaur. I'm sorry, Squirtle and Ivysaur fans, but Charizard already fits that mold. Pokemon Trainer, Squirtle, Ivysaur, they're not coming back. Um... What else? I, I, is Snake the last one? See, I don't, I don't think Snake is coming back. I, I, Snake was that weird character. I liked his inclusion in Smash, even though he was the odd one, the oddball of the crowd. I don't think he's coming back, especially with how Kojima is with Metal Gear Solid and how Konami and Kojima are, like, their relationship with it. I don't... Actually, I don't even know if that would particularly affect the chances of Snake appearing in Smash, but... Snake has definitely waned in... Mm. I don't know. I I don't want to say popularity. I, I guess popularity. I don't know. I, I, I definitely feel like Snake is not coming back at all. Um, is that it? I feel like that's it. Uh, huh. Ah, okay. I think that is it. So... Yeah, in a nutshell, I think f roughly 50 of the characters on this roster are coming back. The ones that I don't think are coming back, or at least have a better shot at not coming back, than are coming back. Little Mac I don't think is coming back. Robin is a little bit up in the air. 
I already stated why. Greninja, if they wanted a new Pokemon, Greninja would be the one to get cut. We Fit Trainer, I'm pretty sure is getting cut. Ryu, I'm pretty sure is getting cut. Cloud is, I'm, Cloud, I'm pretty sure is getting cut as well. Corn, I'm pretty sure is getting cut. The Mies, I'm pretty sure they're getting cut more than they're returning, but I could go either way. So I generally think six to seven characters out of this roster are not coming back. Between Little Mac, Robin, Greninja, Wii Fit Trainer, Ryu, Cloud, Corrin, and Mies. Between those characters, I don't think those guys are coming back. But everyone else, I'm pretty, pretty sure they're all coming back. Whether, what move set or form they're gonna take is pretty freaking, it's up in the air. I hope they modernize a lot of the characters' move sets. And I think Ice Climbers and Wolf are coming back. So we're looking at between 50 to like 52 or 53 characters. 50, 50 to 52 or 53 veterans. At least in my opinion. For Smash 5. Which I'm okay with. I know they're going to add a, a plentiful amount of newcomers. I know for a fact this game is definitely going to get DLC. Especially to, to like release more and more characters. To... To provide some more life into a Smash Title 4 Switch and to provide more life in the Switch as a whole. This smashes the game to prolong the Switch's life cycle. DLC is the way to do it. They're definitely going to add a, plenty of more characters, especially as the Switch progresses in its life. And yeah, Ice Climbers and Wolf are going to come back and a large portion of this roster, like 85% of the roster, in my opinion, is definitely going to be making a return in Smash 5. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys agree with my decisions? I know I stumbled and I kind of went all over the place a little bit, so I apologize. But it that's the fun thing, though. Like, there's reasons to believe these characters are coming back and not coming back. Like, they're... Like, relevancy can be an issue, it can't be, as well. You can't- some of these characters can come back and have their movesets changed up, modernized, revamped, or not. We don't know. They- like- I- I miss this so much. I never thought I wanted a Smash game this badly, especially on Switch. Then Smash 5. I'm still on Team Smash 5, by the way. There's like- there's so many- there's so many signs pointing to it being a new game. Like- Particularly, if you're gonna be super anal about someone choosing one side over the other, get the fuck over it, man. It's a, it's a Smash Bros. coming to the Switch. Whether it's a port or a brand new game, people are still gonna drop 60, 70, 80 bucks on it. Because it's Smash Bros. on the Switch. It's still a big freaking deal. And there's reason to believe it's a new game, but there is valid reasoning to believe it's a port. I personally believe there's a lot of reasons to believe that it's Smash 5. There's, there's like several reasons, plus the atmosphere of the trailer itself, Etika kind of touched up on this. Like, I do think this is a brand new Smash game, but don't fucking act like you're the eyes of God himself. Cause you're, <laughs> newsflash, you're just being an asshole than God himself. If you think it's either gonna be a port or Smash 5. Like, don't, don't try and f talk down to someone just because you see differently. People are gonna have different opinions, and there's actual legitimate arguments for doing so. Don't act like some pretentious asshole, because that's what's setting that toxic stigma for the Smash community. That's exactly why people talk shit about the Smash community. Not just for the competitive nature, but this kind of speculation, and you're just being like, Oh, you're such a fucking retard. Why the fuck are you asking? What? It's not a fucking new Smash game. Like, get the- shut the fuck up. Get the fuck over it. Nobody fucking cares that much, man. It's a new Smash game. Let the people go rapid with the new predictions, cause we don't know we don't know what how much they're gonna add with this new Smash game. They, like I like even if it is a port, I feel like they're going the extra mile to add more than just what was added to a lot of the ports that are coming to Switch. But <clears throat> I'm deterring from the main topic at point. 50, 50 to 52 characters, 50 to 52 veterans, I should say, between Smash 4, Melee, and Brawl. I do think are coming back in Smash 5, and I do think a couple characters here on Smash 4's roster are not coming back. Let me know if you guys agree with me in the comments. Do you guys agree with my selection? Do you disagree? Do you think some of these characters have a better chance at reappearing than not? Let me know down below. As always, thank you guys for watching. I I was low-key hoping this video would be a little bit shorter, because I don't think people are going to sit down for 50 minutes with me speculating the roster with Smash Bros. I, I don't know. I, I, apparently, some of my Smash videos that I'm uploading right now are doing very damn good, so I'm happy about that. 
So maybe people would like to sit down and watch me talk about the Smash Bros. roster for like 50 minutes. I don't know. Oh, wait. Ooh. I just thought of something. Okay, I'm not going to say it. But yeah, t talk in the comments. Let me know. Give some... Let's talk. Give some discussion. Let's talk about the roster. Let's talk about who's staying, who's going. You agree? You disagree? The Smash Hype Train. It's back. I'm so ready. I'm so glad. Oh my god. I never... Man, it's like Mario Odyssey's hype train all over again, but I'm starting to see- I'm starting to feel like the Smash hype train is unlike any other. Oh man, okay, I'm dragging this out way much longer than I was hoping it would be. Take care of yourselves, hope you guys are enjoying this hype train. Mmm, live it man, just live it. Mmm, it feels so good. This- this- positive aura for the Smash community, Smash is being revived essentially, and the Switch is easily gonna surpass like 20, maybe even 30 million units by the end of the year. With just Smash alone, if not Fire Emblem, Pokemon, Metroid, it's a done deal. E Nintendo literally just won E3 without even, without it even starting, and they already won 2018, and it just began. Holy shit. Okay, stay super.